What if every meal was Thanksgiving dinner? So to sort of, to sort of you know, go into like details on our, our plan for this sort of, we said you can't just eat leftovers. You know, uh, you got to make it fresh every time. That's that's important because that's what Thanksgiving dinner. Like obviously, part of Thanksgiving is eating leftovers. Um, but Thanksgiving but dinner that's itself part of is after Thanksgiving. Fresh. Exactly. Yeah, like capital T, capital D, Thanksgiving dinner. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so not just your dinner though. All meals you eat, including snacks or anything, have to be Thanksgiving dinner. So I wanted to look at the amount of time it takes to actually cook the dinner because, um, like preparing the Thanksgiving dinner is like a an event. Like it takes like all day. And you see, like, a ton of articles and stuff of, like, they, like, say how you can plan Thanksgiving Day. You have to, like, plan, like, days ahead. Right. So I wanted to analyze that and see, like, how much time it actually takes and if you have time to do other stuff as well. So for my Thanksgiving dinner, I put together, like, a hypothetical Thanksgiving dinner. It includes turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, butternut squash, and a pie. Solid. Yeah. Yeah traditional very traditional and i looked up recipes for all these things just to like see because there's usually that thing that tells you how long it takes to to cook i like brought all those together just to like find out how long it would take um so mashed potatoes would take 20 minutes stuffing would take 40 minutes i I was actually surprised that stuffing takes 40 minutes to make you gotta bake it a while to get all the meat juice out of the bread i guess baking is pretty slow (laughs) yeah Mm mm-hmm the pie was 55 minutes, butternut squash, 25 minutes, and the turkey was longest, obviously. It was three hours to cook a turkey. A three-hour cook. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the cook time. There's also the prep time. You have to prep all this stuff before you actually cook it. Um, and I broke all this stuff off, uh, up into different categories of cooking, so like... Some of the stuff takes oven time. Some of this takes stove time. So, like, you, if there's only four burners on the stove, you can't cook five things at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, there's prep time. Yeah, just those three. <laughs> 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 These are all known t- types of time. Yes. And I added them up, and the total number of hours that you get from all these categories is seven hours. So... It takes seven hours. If you just do it like out linearly and you don't like overlap at all, it's seven hours. But that's not really efficient at all. You can overlap. You can do stuff while other stuff is cooking, stuff like that. Yeah, it doesn't take seven. seven doesn't take seven hours unless you really fuck it up. Yeah, unless you're like, I'm going to do this one thing and focus on this one thing. So instead, I looked at like the the most efficient you can be is basically because the turkey takes so long to, to cook, it takes the longest. If you do that first, do the co- the turkey first and pop in the oven, you can do everything else while the turkey is cooking. And like the most efficient you can get is if you finish everything before the turkey finishes and the whole thing just takes three hours. I mean, that's, that's the typical strategy is to put the co- turkey in first and do everything else while that's cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it does work. I, I went through all the hours and it works. So you can do it within three hours. I like I like how we had to turn. I like how we had to do a whole bunch of math to find out how long it takes to do Thanksgiving dinner because none of us have hosted one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like, have... There's like gotta be so many people being like, "That's not how it fucking goes, people." <laughs> I just assume you can do everything; it'll go smoothly. <laughs> you don't run into any problems at all. But assuming that everything does go smoothly and that you do everything super efficient, the fastest you can do it is three hours and twenty minutes because there's twenty minutes of prep with the turkey. So that's for one Thanksgiving dinner. But you eat more than one meal a day. You eat, I, I said you eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you have to multiply that by three. So the most efficient meal multiplied by three is 10 hours each day spent cooking. I was like, okay, 10 hours, that's a long time. But you still <laughs> have, I mean, there's 24 hours in a day. So you still have other time to like to do other stuff. Unless you have, for maybe example, a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'll get there. So I also included the eating time because you, it's no point in cooking it if you're not going to eat it. And I kind of just said that you're going super fast and eating. You're not going to like enjoy yourself. You're just going to stuff your face and it'll right. take 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. 
So 20 minutes per meal. That brings our time up to 11 hours. And then to do other things like sleeping. People need sleep. I like to sleep. I try to do it almost every day. Yeah. I've heard of it. I, I'm not, I haven't tried it myself yet recently. So the National Sleep Foundation says that you need, that healthy adults need seven hours of sleep. And that eight hours of sleep is ideal, but you can settle for seven hours. On average, I think most adults get seven hours, sort of. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's close to where I'm at. I mean, you basically, you shoot for eight. You plan for eight, and then you spend an hour on in bed on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some combination of in the evening and in the morning to fuck over your own sleep schedule. Yep. Sounds like I mean, me. on the website, it was like, it sounded like they wanted you to get eight hours of sleep, but they're like, we know no one does that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're seven trying to, hours. We're trying to, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll come in the, we'll meet yeah, in the middle. We're, we're meeting yeah. halfway here, guys. So, yeah, that's seven hours. So, add it up that 11 plus seven is... 18. So we have six more hours to work with and we need to have a job because we need to pay for all this Thanksgiving stuff. And it's obviously a normal like work schedule isn't going to work because you only have six hours. Um, but you can still work a 40 hour week if, as, if you just work on the weekends too. Oh my God, you've managed to make the life the worst again, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so yeah, you're just going to work a six hour day every day seven days a week and then you're gonna go home and you're gonna cook and then you're gonna eat and then you're gonna sleep and then you're gonna go to work and you'll i don't know how you're gonna your commute's gonna work i guess you just work at home and you better be thankful you have a job <laughs> yeah because you have zero time to spare it literally adds exactly up to 24 hours so <laughs> well you gotta be home because you gotta preheat you gotta you gotta have the turkey in the oven for three hours <laughs> 